Hi, my name is Sanjay Bavisi and I'm the President of the International Council of E-Commerce Consultants or in short EC Council. EC Council is basically a certification body headquartered in Albuquerque, New Mexico, the United States of America. EC Council basically certifies individuals in areas of information security. Some of our certifications include the world famous Certified Ethical Hacker Program, which is sometimes controversial as a lot of people tend to think, how can a hacker ever be ethical? And how can you have a program called a Certified Ethical Hacker? So to illustrate the issue in industry that has actually given rise to the certification, let's look at an organization that actually has system administrators or network administrators as part of their uh, organization information technology team. And as we would see, the way organizations hire and train these people are basically to put them through all sorts of vendor bias programs. Uh, they would have some sort of system engineering background or some sort of a bachelor's degree in computer science as a preface to them having a, a job as an administrator. Now, the problem is these administrators are dealing with hack attacks and security threats every single day. The, and, and the bigger problem is that they've never been trained to handle these attacks. They've always been trained in a vendor biased environment where they know exactly how to uh, use an operating system, how to basically keep it going. But the hackers out there understand completely how hack attacks work. They understand exactly what the tools are to be used. They, they know exactly what, what ways they could use to basically uh, compromise the information uh, stature of a company. So the question then becomes, well, what's going to be the answer to companies that intend to defend the organization? And that's where the program like Certified Ethical Hacker comes about. The idea is to be the hacker, uh, you have to think like a hacker. And to be the hacker, you've got to beat them in your own game. Now, to do that, the Certified Ethical Hacker program strives to train information security professionals in the same technology that a hacker uses to attack them. And we hope that at the end of the day, the administrators and the IT professionals that go through the certification process will be able to understand better what hackers use against them and will be able to preempt an attack before it takes place. Another topic of great interest today has become the is issue of computer forensics. You know, there are shows on TV like CSI and that brings a lot of attention to a lot of people. But when we, yet when we speak about computer forensics in a information technology platform or in a organization uh, arena, a lot of them tend to think that, oh, computer forensics is not for me. It is really for the law enforcement agencies. Let me show you a simple reason why computer forensics can really help defend an organization. Well, the most obvious is if your organization is under attack and if you're not going to figure out how, well, apart from how the attack came about, if you're not going to figure out who attacked your organization and how to deal with them, then you're just going to be solving a problem one at a time and you're not going to go and solve the problem at the root of the cause. So obviously computer forensics you know, would depict a picture where they would defend your organization where you'll be able to put people that are responsible to attack your organization behind bars or basically you'll hold them responsible. But here's another issue. According to the CSI FBI report that was recently published in 2006, more than 68% of companies that were interviewed had some sort of an internal breach. So what the data is telling us is that very often a lot of the attacks that take place against the organization happens from inside. And the question is, how are organizations going to answer this? How are we going to defend organizations and institutions against internal hacks? Well, one argument that I would like to raise is perhaps if we had an internal forensics professional that is part of the staff of your organization, then a lot of the people that are trying to do hack attacks or security breaches would be a bit concerned. The reason is, today, everyone knows that if you want to do a forensics investigation, you have to hire one of the large consulting firms to do that. That costs companies a lot of money. And if it's going to be a small little breach, not a lot of companies have the resources to activate that sort of a consulting in place. Now, if you had one of your administrators or someone from your IT team being certified as a certified hacking forensics investigator, and not just that, if the CEO sent an email to the entire organization saying that we now have John 
as the certified hacking forensics investigator and it's going to help combat internal security breaches. I would like to propose that that's going to reduce a lot of risk to an organization. And that's a simple example of how even small organizations can combat incident uh, issues and, and, and hacking issues against the organization without really spending a lot of money. Three months ago, EC Council University was formed in the state of New Mexico. And we have been licensed by the Department of Education to offer two postgraduate degree programs, namely the Masters of Security Science and the Masters of E-Business. What we hope to achieve is our graduates being able to defend organizations because not just uh, them having the skills that are required in the academic world, but basically for our graduates to be able to have skills that, are ab that will be able to be applied in an organization on a daily basis. So everything from ethical hacking to computer forensics to disaster recovery to incident response to security analysis to penetration testing, we walk our graduates through hell before they graduate at our school. And the intention is for us to create top breed information security professionals that not just understand one area of information security, but understand the entire sector or a large sector of information security. EC Council was actually formed after September 11 attacks. And the September 11 attacks really showed why the world is really vulnerable. And, and, and how bad an organization can be if a cybersecurity attack would take place. Our organization is over in over 60 countries today. We have training partners that are over 500 in total. We have got certified individuals that are in excess of 10,500 people in 60 countries. We organize EC Council's Hacker Halted conferences all across the world. And the purpose of this conference is basically to bring forward and bring together information security professionals across platforms together to be able to communicate and share ideas and concepts at one single venue. The Hacker Halted Conference has been organized in Mexico, in Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Dubai, Malaysia, Singapore. And this year, we'll be organizing them in Sydney, Taiwan, Malaysia, and Hong Kong.